What up, man? It's your big brother, K. Reno, man. And um, y'all see what the title say. You know, and I, and I stand by it. I stand by it. Um, crazy is the new saying. Um, one thing that I've noticed, you know, since the internet has really just popped off like it's popped off and exploded at like it has in the last few years, is that um, the internet has given everybody a soapbox has given everybody a platform and like a lot of other things in life everything ain't meant everything ain't for everybody everybody shouldn't be able to be a brain surgeon you know everybody shouldn't be able to cook your food uh, or handle your food do your door dash and all that type of stuff man deliver your pizza and Everybody should not be allowed to um, give life advice or to be uh, the example of how people should live their life based on the words that come out of their mouth because a lot of times the words that come out of people's mouths this day and age uh, are, are so ridiculous that they should not be empowered like that but unfortunately we we are now in a time frame where the crazier you talk the more uh, ignorant that you sound uh, the more ridiculous your philosophies on life are uh, <laughs> the more you accept it the more that, the more you accept it people just gravitate towards that and they take that in and these um, personalities become uh, fixated. They become fixtures in the minds of the people to where they have become the leaders. They become the new leaders of this world that we live in right now. And the way you know it is because even when you're out in public, you hear uh, the exact talking points that come from a lot of these people that's out here um, actually misleading and leading people astray. And it's a sad yet scary thing to witness because uh, we've always heard people say that children are the future, but who's the one ushering those, those children into the future? So when you say that the children are the future, yeah, that's true, but you actually, it needs to be more detailed than that. Because, yeah, yeah, the children are going to be the future, but what kind of future will it be? The type of future that it will be will be, will be based around what is instilled in those children today, in the present. So, and also, children don't always mean young people and babies and elementary school children it don't always mean that because some of us grown people walk around here with the mind still having the minds of children and that's a fact and they are seeking leadership they're still seeking leadership which is nothing wrong with seeking leadership i don't care how old you are but the guidance and the leadership that they're getting is coming from the crazy so when you have grown people who haven't even found themselves yet, I mean, some in their 30s haven't even found themselves yet, now you see this whole thing where people are gravitating towards internet characters and personalities and people who are really just saying a lot of the things that they're saying, you know, definitely because they are ignorant, but a lot of times, uh, they're doing it just for the money. They know that no, they know that the more outrageous that they are, the more attention that it draws, and the more clicks and views that that it that it generates <clears throat> for for them to make money. So you got to be real careful with who you following and who you uh, are ingesting and digesting and processing in your mind because. People will stand on the crazy. People will defend the crazy. And it's it's the norm now. It's the norm now. And 
everything has been flipped around and reversed to where, like I say in the title, crazy is the new sane. But the back end to that that is not titled on this video is that because of the fact that in a lot of cases crazy is the new saying unfortunately sanity is the new crazy because when you have somebody that comes along and and speaks and is a voice of reason in the midst of the madness in the midst of all the the, the insanity it's been made so foreign to the eyes and ears of the people that now they look at the logical, the rational, the reasonable, they look at that like, like you crazy. Now he's the crazy one. It's like, no, he ain't, that's not the crazy one. That's the crazy one over there. No, that's not the crazy one. He's, he's, that's our leader. He got plenty of sense. So it works. It, it, this world is working in a way, man, that, that we really got to really have our antenna up in terms of how we see it, how we view it, and how we uh, maneuver through it. How you view it and how you maneuver through it is going to be the key, man. And a lot of times, the way to know who's who, the way to know who's who is, is, is sadly... <sighs> who the majority sides with is usually not the one. Now, I'm not saying that's the only way to know, but I'm saying that's one of the key factors when you see everybody leaning towards this. And then you see this over here that's not really generating a lot. And you like say, okay, you know what? Let me make sure. Because don't get me wrong, there's a lot of great people with, with big followings and that are doing some great things. Don't 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 misconstrue that. But I mean, when you look at what I view to be the obvious uh, insanity, uh, be careful with how you process that. Don't let entertainment trick you into believing that it's uh, it's educational and it's good for you, man. Because it doesn't just affect you, it affects your seed, it affects everyone around you. Alright man, this your big brother K. Reno. I'll catch y'all later on. Peace.